Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on my channel. This is my first PC build. It's, it's only two and a half weeks old and I've been, you know, playing with it, trying to overclock it, you know, getting all my programs in there and just having fun with it. Playing some my Steam games on there and just seeing what the, the graphics card can do and how much I can push the CPU. But over the last week, my main focus has been cooling. Uh, this 2700X build, you know, it came with that stock Wraith Prism cooler and it did the job. I probably would not have replaced it because I don't really do anything um, that would make me need one. So I did get that uh, Hyper 212 Black Edition with the RGB fan. Uh, I bought it just because I'm an enthusiast. I wanted to see how much more I can cool it down. And I added fans everywhere in this case and uh, just having a lot of fun with it. But I wanted to tell you what I did with the, the original, the stock Wraith Prism Cooler from the 2700X is that I put it in a, my Ryzen build, not my build, but a, it was a, a store-bought, a cyber PC computer that I bought last year. And there it is. It was, you know, pretty easy to install it on this, in this system. I had plenty of room. I didn't have to take it off the motherboard or anything like that. So that is the, the 2700X Wraith cooler on my Ryzen 5 2600. And you can see there, I kind of went crazy with the fans, but what the hell, right? I had fun doing it. And so now I have two systems. And yes, this particular uh, cooler is much better than the stock 2600 cooler. So I got better thermals on that. You know, I know I'm at idle, not under load, but you can see what, under 30 degrees. And if you go back to my, um, my 2700X build, you can see I'm idling there at 30 degrees. And both systems, I have a pretty aggressive fan curve. They're a little bit noisy, but hey, it's just me here. Just a quick update. Thanks for watching all. Bye-bye.